BlackBerry once dominated the smartphone market. Now the company is fighting to regain popularity. Revenues continue to drop. They hit a low of $916 million in the company's last quarter. BlackBerry CEO John Chen is with us, first on CBS This Morning, and he is revealing the BlackBerry Classic. The new device sells for $449 unlocked. John Chen, welcome. Well, thank you. So tell us about the new device, and we'll find out whether Ms. King likes it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Ms. King ever. likes it. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, the, the device that we designed, uh, this is one of the first devices that after I came, it came about 13 months yeah. ago, that we wanted to put together. Um, I, I spoke to literally hundreds and hundreds of customers everywhere around the world, and they wanted the so-called navigation pack back, which is a little bit of a track, you know, the trackpad, and, the, and there's a belt here. Um, and, and, and we knew that kind of by taking that away in the last previous uh, iteration, that hurt us quite a bit um, mm -hmm. and in, in the market. Mm -hmm. So our diehard friends that comes back and say, you got to put that back or I'm moving, I'm leaving you. Mm -hmm. um, because this is the most productive way people use a single, you, know, you mm -hmm. see a lot of people in the old, even in the movies that they could type it underneath the table and, you know, and, <laughs> and not be seen. Listen, I am a ride or die Blackberry girl. I'm so trying to hold on with you guys because I get everything that you do. As you see, I've got She's four. giving you a chance. Yes, yes. I, that's yes. right, Charlie. I'm giving you a chance. But many people say what Nora said when you sat down. I had the Blackberry and I just gave it up four months ago or six months ago. That has to hurt. Are you nervous? No, no, not nervous. Um, I mean, something that we need to work on. If you were nervous, would you tell me? Oh, if you were nervous, would you tell me oh, you were you, nervous? Well, if I were nervous, well, I'd probably tell you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah you. Well, but then, but let, then me just ask, let me just ask how you're not nervous yes. because <laughs> yeah. you had a two hundred and seven million dollar net mm. loss in the second quarter. That was better than expected, though. Right. Um, and they're very cautious about your Q3 report. That's due Friday, right? Right. How big of the loss is it going to be? I can't tell. I, mm -hmm. I can't tell you. Of course, this is. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I mean, this is. Quite a period, and you know you have to wait till Friday to find out. Yeah. Um, Tell me what you feel. When I came, when I came in, when I came mm -hmm. in about four quarters ago, we were losing like literally billions. Mm -hmm. um, now we're cut our loss quite a bit, and and I had made a commitment to the street, to the investor that we're going to break even in cash flow by the end of this year, mm -hmm. which is only about you two know, weeks this quarter and next one, um, yeah. and then we're going to start making money going forward in FY16. Or the so, so what's the grand year? strategy here, though? Right. Okay. In other words, you've got the iPhone, you've got Android, yeah. you've got Samsung, you've got different people in different countries that are in this market. Right. The, the, the most important thing is about enterprise. And um, we're focusing a lot on enterprises, both the hardware, the software, and it really center around security and privacy. Um, that's the number one thing. And then it goes to the productivity, which is why we return these kind of devices and these kind of interfaces. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to work on the next generation, which are more consumer based. Yeah. Which will gain back, you know, hopefully gain yeah. back to like the. By enterprise, you mean companies? I'm by? by enterprise, you mean companies? Companies, governments. Uh, we just make an investment in healthcare industry, uh, doing genomics, browser, clinical trials, and put in the hands of the doctors and a <laughs> clinical researcher right. and so forth. So we're going to have to focus very much on, on you know, the, the productive world that needs security. And, I, and that's what we're doing. Right I now. wonder, John, who is a customer? Because I have to say, I don't see anybody under the age of 30 or 40 using a BlackBerry. When I pull it out, people act like I've, they've bitten a lemon. They look with such disdain. But I say, look, you got the keyboard and the battery pack is amazing. So who is a BlackBerry customer that you were trying to get? Today is mostly professionals. Um, we have about 40 to 45 million subscribers right now. Mm -hmm. And they're all in the likes of, you know, the bankers and the lawyers and the government agencies and all that all around the world, especially the so-called five I countries. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we're all the sharing intelligence and so forth. We, we were doing pretty well in the Middle East um, area and, and starting to see some traction in, in Asia. Still early. Um, I agree that over time I have to solve another problem, which is, you know, people need to make this a little bit cooler. Yes. Or think this is a cooler mm -hmm. phone. Yeah. Right? That way we'll do. Probably come up with 10 different colors. On this, okay. Right? Yes, Why well. is the government and the Pentagon probably one of your biggest um, customers? Because of the security. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it, one good thing that, I, mean, I couldn't take all the credit for it, but I just recognized it. One, one great thing that the company had done in the past was design everything highly secure, right? And, and things that in, a, in the, um, both in the handsets, you know, each of these phones are injected with different code uh, when, and manufacturers, all the way to software and all the way to 
you know, uh, messaging technology and we just bought a company that does. John, you have voice. to stop it there. Let's just say I'm a believer and I'm pulling for you.